Hi everyone, it's me Lina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you a lot for checking my videos out. And today in this video I would like to talk about journaling and about writing things down, your thoughts in your diary for example or even some of events that you need to attend or so on in your planner to me some things are still similar even though you know planner you would use just to write things that you need to do and so on and diary is much more personal where you write your thoughts you know down and so on still there are some similarities and i think it is very healthy to just even start to write things down in general i think it is great for your emotions for your mental health and so on it is a therapy I would say it is something that you do for yourself you don't do it for others in my opinion honestly how I started to write and have this like habit of writing things down is probably it comes from my childhood I used to love to write things I mean I would just write stories and so on and honestly I actually used to write poems when I was a teenager I think it is very romantic, maybe sweet hobby. Now, to be fair, I don't think that my poems were that great, but I definitely think that it is so good for your like emotional, you know, health and so on. It is a great opportunity to structureize what you have to say to other people, and also in general, it's just so great. Sometimes it's better to put it on the paper rather than say it, you know, and I think it is a great opportunity, it's just so powerful, it can be such a great tool to use. It is definitely a great opportunity to explore yourself, your feelings, emotions and just your thoughts in general, what you think, what you, you know, try to maybe learn and so on. I think it is a great way and also it is a way to become more creative. Actually, if I'm super honest with you guys now, later or lately actually, I have been writing things down more like as a planner rather than diary, for example, because I would just write things down like my ideas for YouTube, for example, and so on. But you know, guys, it's still that kind of like hobby or you know things that you do for yourself and I would say that it makes me more creative or it definitely you know things that make me learn some creativity I definitely love it and also to write things down it's like I'm not sure how to explain but I'm gonna try so when I write down my ideas it makes them more real, I believe in them and I'm more confident. I'm more confident that I'm gonna, you know, make those things, that I'm gonna recreate them in real life, you know, those things that I have been thinking of or just had ideas that I'm actually gonna do it. It makes it so real and it makes me much more powerful, I think, <laughs> well, you know. For me for myself and I just start to believe in it it makes you happier I think to write things down you need to just start and I'm certain you're gonna love it I actually need to also confess that I have such a terrible terrible handwriting and what it doesn't stop me maybe it's a better way if you are like <laughs> you know it's a good thing if you are scared that someone's gonna find your diary and read it, you know, it's a good thing to have a bad handwriting. Well, I'm only joking. You know, since a kid I have been having terrible handwriting. Even though in like grade one till probably like third, maybe even later on, I was like one of the best students. Like definitely when I was little I was so good. Like, I mean, meaning that I had good marks and so on. So my handwriting was definitely one of the worst in class still i mean it is the way it is also i have a habit of uh, having the pen very in in very bizarre way in like my i'm not sure how to say fingers hand how would you say it in english so yeah i have this bad habit of having 
or writing it in the very odd way and sometimes I actually notice that people you know, see it like on post offices where I'm actually signing something but I mean I don't really care to be fair about it it's just the extra thing about me you know like cute thing <laughs> No, maybe it's not so cute. I really love beautiful handwriting, but yeah. Also, in Ukraine we have this culture of like writing, I mean, how to say it. So there is a culture of beautiful handwriting, I think. Maybe not quite as in some other countries, because I know there are even way more to it. But yeah, we do, and yeah, my handwriting is so like bad well whatever it's not about it it's not about me being insecure about that even though to be fair i'm i don't really care but maybe you think i do so <laughs> whatever i'll stop uh, you know justifying myself anyways i think that even having a planner already builds the idea of writing things down as in diary i used to write things my feelings and emotions in actual diaries so not planner or anything like that but I used to burn them yes I would go that extra I didn't want anyone to read them or like have them or you know I don't know I'm that kind of person now I think maybe it wasn't such a great idea but if you're scared that someone gonna read it you have so many like options I believe and there are some things that you can definitely do to protect your privacy you know with your diary or so on I think it would be a good uh, idea to start to write at least every day just a bit honestly again I'm gonna be honest I don't write every day but you know every other day definitely it's more like ideas since to remember different things like beauty secrets it can be even so lately it's not very personal as it's not really diary like but still i think it's already you know make me definitely structurize the way i even speak and um the way i sort of talk with people even in some way you know meaning i'm not sure it definitely makes you learn how to say your point better how to you know see it's even like teaching you and also i have this habit of writing things down in english yeah you can actually tell that my english is like not perfect obviously but i'm learning and i think it is a good scene i like to write it in english so i have lots of scenes in ukrainian and obviously i feel much more freely to write it in ukrainian meaning when it's like for myself but I actually like to write it in English too so I want to show you my current sort of planner but sometimes I write personal scenes into usually though not very likely to be fair it looks very cute by the way I think and also just like so pretty so I like it a lot and actually it's almost like finished meaning that there are so like YouTube for example, it has movies. Yeah, lots of scenes, you know. And what else? I used to write lots of like personal scenes in this one. But also, after a while, I started to write ideas for my YouTube in that one too. So it has personal scenes in it and, you know, very like my feelings, my emotions, daydreams and expectations sort of like dreams in general you know i think it is something that i don't know it's like meditation in some way to write things down and also i would compare it to yoga you do it for yourself guys you don't do it for someone else it's for yourself to feel better to believe in yourself to set the goals and yeah to try to achieve them through even this paper through this little page it just I don't know it's a start it's somewhere where you can start and you know go to it you can write down your achievements and so on it is so great it is like a new another world <laughs> world <laughs> you know well maybe that's a bit too much to say you know you shouldn't of course treat it as some sort of you know other planet it should be still here and now but 
it is a therapy for some people I believe it can be even though as I said right now usually I don't write like super like private scenes on or in but yeah it's it's great it still helps you so yeah whatever it is you can use it as a tool to become more creative for example also I have this one it is pretty new I put some stickers on it was sort of like a little present from my dad it's actually a planner to be fair it has dates even and yeah it has a beautiful um, map of Ukraine which I like so much I want to show you and it has some cute information so it's actually not a diary obviously it has calendars and some information about distance between cities in Ukraine and other scenes it's more for like drivers I suppose but still very helpful also it has uh, you know information about other countries and uh, cars and numbers also uh, different timelines and so on time time zones and yeah it's so beautiful I love it I already like wrote down some scenes but uh, usually oh well Lately it were like uh, little events that I need to attend, well, it was like maybe a few, or not even a few, more than a few months ago, so yeah, that's why. And also some dates, like uh, someone's birthday and so on, not to forget, just some people that maybe I'm not so close with, but I need to, you know, it would be cute to say happy birthday. So that's what I did. I really think it is incredible idea for you to start writing things down and I think you're gonna like it, you just gotta start somewhere. I think it would be a great idea and very motivating one to buy a nice diary. I don't know, maybe for you guys journal is something different than for example diary but for me it's totally all the same or similar, okay, similar, not the same. It can be actually a diary, I think. The journal can be a diary. But maybe you think different, so I'm not certain, to be fair, if I'm honest. But I think it is pretty similar scenes, so yeah. And yeah, you just can, you know, even like put stickers in and so on, so you can buy something quite nice, like cute one this diary or something to write in it would be a great motivation inspiration to actually you know put your thoughts in and to begin this beautiful journey you know with yourself actually because again i think it is for yourself it's like yoga something that is definitely so beneficial for you anyway let me know what you think and maybe you think differently or for example this video is not exactly what you expected it to be. I would like to know because lately I noticed that sometimes people expect something else and I would like to know, you know, what you think. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video thumbs ups. I'll see you soon. Wow.